Good morning, good afternoon, or possibly good evening. In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how you can install the VMware Carbon Black Cloud workload appliance in your vSphere infrastructure and enable a integration level between Carbon Black Cloud, vCenter, and your VM workloads. Thanks for watching. My name is Dale McKay. I am a senior technical marketing architect in the security business unit here at VMware. In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how to install that appliance, how to integrate it with Carbon Black Cloud, and your on-premise vCenter. Let's take a look at what our reference architecture looks like for this install. You can see that there's an appliance, there's a vCenter server, we're going to deploy a Carbon Black Cloud plugin. We're also going to enable connectivity between the Carbon Black Cloud and the appliance, and the appliance is going to use the vCenter inventory to provide some specific information about that inventory. Notice that the VMs that have uh, Carbon Black deployed on them, the Carbon Black sensor, will still communicate directly with the Carbon Black Cloud just as they do today. All right, let's get started. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to want to do is we're going to start our timer. And we now have less than 15 minutes to get this appliance installed and integrated in with vCenter and with the Carbon Black Cloud. First, we're going to log into vCenter. The appliance comes in an OVF or OVA form factor. So one of the things that we're going to need to do is upload that OVA. And I'll show you how we're going to go about doing that. We're going to deploy the OVF template. Find the OVA for the appliance. We're going to call our appliance the CWP-1 for cloud workload protection. We're going to install it on this cluster, the Nuke cluster. We're going to accept our license agreement. Select the storage. We're we'll give it a password. So we've given it passwords, we've given it uh, correct IP addresses, DNS. You watched me complete all those settings. Now we're going to deploy that OVF. We can watch the task as it moves along. It's going to execute some pre-checks, and while we're doing that, it's really five steps to completing the appliance install. The first step is to deploy the OVA. We're also going to need to generate um, some API keys and we're going to do that in just a minute. But one of the first things that we have to do inside the Carbon Black Cloud is we have to set the right access level. This is what the access level should look like.
Now I've already set those access levels right here, so all I'm going to need to do is to add an API key. And we'll call it CWP-1. And this is going to be custom. We'll select the CW1 access. And we'll hit save. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to copy these. And I'm going to save them because we're going to need them later. All right, I've got that done. Let's go back over and see how we're doing. All right, we can see that we now have the VM has been deployed. The VM that is the appliance. Let's go ahead and power it on. Now we're going to want to make sure that we keep track of the IP address because we're going to need to log into that IP address. In just a minute, when it does power up, we'll see that it comes up and it will show us the IP address, which should be 192.168.100.123. There, now it should be up. Okay, now we're looking at the VAMI, the VMware Appliance Management Interface for the Carbon Black Cloud Workload Appliance. We can see various components, uh, usage, services, all of this from our dashboard. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to go and register our appliance with our vCenter. All right, so I put in the SSO host name, which in my case was my vCenter. It came back with the vCenter details and the thumbprint. I'm going to register. And then at this point, I'm now I'm successfully registered with my vCenter. The next thing that I want to do is I want to use some of the information that I got from Carbon Black Cloud. I'm going to need my URL. I'm going to need that appliance name. I'm going to need the org key and let me just show you where that is. That's right here. I'll need that app ID, the API ID, I'm sorry, and the API key. All right, now it's in the process of registering the appliance. We can actually go back over to the Carbon Black Cloud console and we can see 
that it knows about that appliance and we'll see once the registration is successful we'll see a link for that appliance show up right here let's see what we see if we can speed things along here and you can see now we have green arrows if I go back over to the carbon black cloud we can see that indeed the appliance is recognized it is connected and my browser refresh will show us that indeed the Carbon Black Cloud plugin has been deployed to this vCenter. Here's my Carbon Black Cloud plugin. When I click on it, I can see the appliance health. I can also see the inventory of that particular vCenter. And at this point, I should be able to deploy Carbon Black. Let's just turn on our test VM here. We have two minutes and 43 seconds left. We'll see if um, we can actually pull this off. We can see the VMs booting. And what we want to be able to do is to enable Carbon Black on this particular VM from the appliance that we just installed, not through the Carbon Black Cloud console. So let's go back to our Carbon Black appliance. Here it is. Let's take a look at our not enabled inventory. And it looks like we're still waiting on that VM to be up with the correct VMware tools. We can see it doesn't have an IP address yet, so it's still in the process of coming up. But in 14 minutes, just a little bit less actually, we've managed to deploy the appliance we have configured it to interoperate with your on-premise vCenter. We've also configured it for connectivity to the Carbon Black Cloud. And we know that from looking at the appliance that it is now seeing the inventory of that vCenter. And now just in the nick of time we're able to configure Carbon Black Cloud on this particular VM. At this point, we're deploying the sensor via the functionality in VMware Tools. And very shortly, we should see that particular VM show up under the enabled inventory. And we've done all of this in less than 15 minutes. We'll give it the last six seconds here to see if this is uh, going to show up. Our timer's up. We can see that it's still in progress 
in terms of deploying it. All right. Thank you very much. I think this video should be helpful. The VMware Carbon Black Cloud Workload Appliance really enables a level of integration between vCenter, the Carbon Black Cloud, and your VM workloads that only VMware can offer. It also allows for a very definitive line of responsibility between the vSphere admin team and the information security team that may uh, be setting policy in the Carbon Black Cloud console. I want to thank you for attending this session and I hope it was useful.